Pollutions are spreading across the globe and damaging our planet's health. Water is an important survival resource for us. Water pollution that is increasing day by day is caused by a multitude of reasons, one of which is industrial waste spills. Factories release their waste into water sources and cause the water to be full of harmful materials that can harm the ecosystems within the water. This can cause eutrophication. Eutrophication is dangerous as it causes a chain of reactions within the marine ecosystem starting with an overabundance of algae and plants. The algae and plants will eventually decompose and produce a large amount of carbon dioxide. This will lower the pH of seawater, also known as ocean acidification. Right now, there are more than 60% of lakes in the world and 50% of lakes in the whole of Malaysia facing this problem. With the use of effective microorganisms in large-scale projects, we can eliminate this dangerous threat to our planet's health. The effective microorganism can reduce the excess nutrients within the water so that the growth of algae is reduced. This will slowly allow the marine ecosystem to recover and also reduce the rate of ocean acidification, another major threat to our planet's health. Now, on to the next problem. Uh, hello, do you know what is effective microorganisms? Well, let me explain it to you. Effective microorganisms, or known as EM, are a mixed culture of good naturally occurring bacteria that can help to prevent disease in plants and also help to increase our ecosystem in many ways. EM consists of three main bacteria, that is, photosynthetic bacteria to help with photosynthesis process, lactic acid bacteria to prevent the growth of bad bacteria, and also yeast that can help with aquatic life plants growth. And well, now you know, let's move on. As well as pollution, making this effective microorganism EM by fermenting it into the ground. This will attract other microorganisms, and the other microorganism will eat the fermented matter. By doing so, it will produce metabolites that activate other beneficial microorganisms, which will increase the amount of other living things, for example, worms. Under this circumstance, we could overcome, or maybe, or we could put an end to the lack of food issue. It is actually counter trending in the world. How do we do it? We put EM inside the soil, and then the soil that, will, that has EM inside it will become fertile again and we can use it to plant more food. That will overcome the lack of food. It's currently turning in the whole world.